Can you guys hear me okay? So today, um, I would like to offer some yin to help us welcome in uh, the season of winter. We'll be working with the kidney and urinary bladder meridians today. Um, our kidney meridian starts at the sole of uh, the foot and then travels up the ankle and all the way up the inside of the leg to the groin, up to the stomach, and then through the chest up to your collarbones on each side. And then our urinary bladder meridian starts at the corner of the eye and then travels back down the head, the neck, and then all the way down the spine to the back of the legs and on to the outer portion of the foot down by the little to toenail. Um, both of these meridians uh, are the element of water and they are um, associated with the season of winter. So when these meridians are out of balance, we can feel exhausted, unmotivated, kind of overwhelmed and um, really lack the courage we need to move forward. Sometimes we can be debilitated, excuse me, by the fear that's inside us to um, step into our own power. So today we will be going through a series of postures to help us reclaim our courage, balance and harmonize the water and energy within. So we'll be starting in easy pose and we're just going to start with three cleansing breaths to get ready. So we'll be inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the open mouth. So sigh it all out. to bring both hands over your heart and close your eyes for a moment and breathe down deep into your belly so your belly rise your ribs rise your chest rise hold the breath at the top and slowly release the breath We'll do that again four more times, inhaling. Really feeling the breath come in, fill up the belly, let the ribs rise and the chest rise. Centering your spirit. Arriving for your practice. Noticing the energy of your body. Letting your thoughts rest. And allowing yourself to be present.
Gently opening your eyes, bringing your hands in Anjali Mudra, prayer mudra in front of your heart. Before we move into our asanas, I like to om together three times. This will help to harmonize the waters and the energy in our bodies. So we will inhale to exhale, om. Nice deep breath here. Oh. As you're ready, we'll be moving into our first posture. We'll be taking a butterfly pose. So if you have um, any blocks or blankets that you may need for this pose, we're gonna bring our soles of our feet together. And depending on how tight you're feeling in your inner leg line, you can push your feet away from you. You can bring blocks under your knees for support or a rolled up blanket. Also blocks to the side of you, maybe to rest your hands on as we come forward into this posture. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath lengthen your spine here and on the exhale slowly hinging forward from your hips begin to notice a little tension a little pull in your low back and just coming to your first edge you don't want to force your body down into any position but we do want to stress the tissues a little bit so finding your edge and fall down towards the earth. You can also bring a block under your head if your neck is feeling a little unsupported. Coming to find your stillness here. back body, moving into your lower back, into your feet even more. Noticing the sensations in your back and in your inner leg line. And breathing into those sensations. Notice if you're gritting in your jaw, try and soften. 
Notice if you're holding tension in your shoulders. Let them be heavy. As you breathe here and your body begins to soften, notice if there's an invitation to come in a little deeper. And if not, honor your body. But if so, let yourself fall closer to the earth. nourishing breath here. Open mouth release. Letting go of any tension. Two more. Letting go of any energies that are no longer serving. to the earth and slowly start to rise one vertebra at a time here. Low back, mid back, your upper back, roll your shoulders down your back and let your head come up last. Keeping your eyes soft I'm going to help your knees up and we gently lie down for a little Shavasana. Fill into the echo of the posture here. 
Notice the energy circulating in your low back, from your legs. Flushing out all that no longer serves, harmonizing and balancing the waters within. Gently roll onto your side and push yourself back up. We'll be coming in now to a supported bridge or waterfall pose. So if you have a block, a rolled up blanket or a bolster, we're gonna be placing this under our sacrum. So we'll come to lay down gently on our backs. And you want to press your feet into the earth here. Engage your belly and lift your hips off the earth and come to bring your prop of choice right below your low back, right into the sacral area, making sure the block is not stabbing you in the back because you want to be able to relax here. And as you're ready, we'll start to straighten our legs, one leg at a time here, very slowly. looking up towards the sky or gently close your eyes. Allow your hips to melt over the block. Allow your legs to be heavy here. Relaxing and yielding to the posture. And bringing your breath into your low back area. Concentrating on breathing intuitively here. waves of blue and golden light pouring down all around you. Healing, calming light.
dissolving and transforming all that no longer serves you. Let the weight of gravity pull you closer into Mother Earth. Waves of blue and golden light flowing around you, healing, and peace. over you, harmonizing and balancing your energy. Nice deep nourishing breath here. Open mouth release. Let it all go. Two more. On an inhale, one leg at a time, gently start to bring your feet back to the earth. Moving slowly and intentionally here. Pushing your feet into the earth, engage your core and lifting your hips off the block. Come to move your block off to the side and slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Feel yourself sinking down into the earth. Allowing your spine here to rest. Perhaps you bring your knees to touch one another. And as you're ready, gently straighten your legs out. Coming in for a little mini Shavasana here. Notice the energy circulating inside you. Notice the energy around you.
as you're ready, we'll gently bring our feet back to the earth, bending your knees. We'll slowly roll over to your side and gently pressing yourself back up to a seated posture. Come to set up for half butterfly. So you may want a block or a bolster with you. Come to bring your right foot to nestle into your left inner thigh. And inhale a nice straight spine here. You don't want to slowly walk your hands out. Come over your left leg, finding your edge here. You can bring a blanket under your knee if you need a little extra support. Also, you can bring a block to support your forehead. And as you come into stillness, Listen and feel into the sensations of your body. Noticing the compression of your belly onto your thigh. Noticing the sensation in the back of your legs. Possibly noticing sensations in your lower right back. Breathing into the sensation here. It's okay if your mind starts to wander. Just gently bring it back with the breath. Perhaps there is an invitation to soften and come a little closer to earth. Listen to your body.
On your next inhale, we're slowly rise up, using your hands to push you up slowly and gently here. Letting your head and your neck come up last. Taking a little pause here. Inhale to a nice straight spine here. And on the exhale, we'll come to twist towards our right leg. Bringing your right hand behind you. Lift and lengthen through the spine and open mouth exhale as you send your gaze over your shoulder. Two more. Inhale, open mouth release. On your next inhale, gently unwind, coming back to center. Straighten your right leg. Let your hands rest on your thighs. Take a moment here and notice the energy circulating through your leg. into your lower spine, your kidney area. As you're ready, we'll come to bring our left foot to rest inside our right inner thigh. Inhaling a nice straight spine here and slowly hinging over the right leg. Finding your edge here, honoring your body, bringing in any props you may need to support your head. Perhaps this side feels a little different than the other. Just noticing and not attaching to it. Start to bring those deep sensations you're feeling. Soften through the eyes, soften through the jaw, soften through the neck and the shoulders.
breathing in courage and joy, feeling gratitude. There's an invitation to come deeper. On your next inhale, gently use your hands to bring yourself back up very slowly. Allow your shoulders to roll down your back, head and neck to come up last. We're gonna inhale a nice straight spine here and we begin to twist towards the left, bringing your right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you. Lift and lengthen, and exhale, looking over your shoulder. Take three deep breaths here. Open mouth relief. Letting go of all energetic debris. Releasing toxins. Next, inhale, slowly unravel, coming back to center. Come to straighten the left leg and lie down for a little mini Shavasana. Take a moment, notice the effort of your work. postures, feeling the energy moving inside you, As you're ready, we we'll slowly transition onto our bellies. When it comes to find a sphinx pose here, so let your legs 
come right next to each other. Bring your shoulders right under, I mean, sorry, bring your elbows right under your shoulders. And you want to let your shoulders really relax here. So we're gonna be in a non-active sphinx pose here. So you really wanna let your shoulders kind of sink down into your scapula here. If this is too much compression on your back, you can bring your elbows out a little further away from your body. You can also bring a blanket to rest under your ribs. Just relax here. You can also bring a block under your head. You don't want to hold your head up if you're feeling kind of tired and you want to relax. You can bring a block under your forehead. Let your shoulders relax. Breathing into your low back, your kidney area. Breathing into the compression. On your next inhale, we're really coming into a uh, half frog. I'm gonna bend your right knee and raise your knee up like so. If this is too much compression, you can bring your knee down a little bit. Leaning back into your sphinx pose. Feeling into the sensation in your inner leg line. Your low back. Allowing the stillness here. Softening through your shoulders. Soft eyes, soft neck, soft jaw. take three lines for us here. So lifting your gaze, pad your head down, breathing in here, open mouth and open eyes wide on the exhale. Let it all go.
slowly and gently bring your left leg back to next to the right. And just come down for a short little belly rest here. You can let your head rest on your hand. Noticing the water of the body moving, circulating, harmonizing. Come to find our state pose once again. Bring your elbows under your shoulders. Letting your shoulders relax, sinking down. of your lower back here. On an inhale, we start to bend your right knee. Coming to find your half frog on the right side. Perhaps this side feels a bit different. A little deeper, a little loose. Notice here. Allow your body to soften, relax. on the exhale. Come to take three lion's breaths on this side. So inhaling through the nose, exhale, open mouth, open eyes wide. Releasing all that is no longer serving you.
Let it all go. Allow your right leg to come down and meet your left. And come down for a little belly shavasana here. Notice the effort of your work. On an inhale, gently push yourself back into a child's pose. Allow your head to rest on the earth. Allow your arms to be weightless next to your body. Feel the support of the earth beneath you. Allow yourself to be held here by Mother Earth. Directing your breath into your back body. in the healing energy of Mother Earth. Now gratitude. As you're ready, we'll slowly rise into a hero's pose. Come to let your palms sweep up towards the sky. Feeling into the energy of your body. The effort of your practice. around you.
Slowly let your weight fall to one side. Let your legs come out in front of you. We're coming into our final Stavasana here. So if you'd like a blanket or an eye covering, anything you need, be comfortable and feel supported. With that at this time. Draw your attention to all the parts of your body in contact with the earth. Check in with the comfort of your body here. Making sure you have everything you need so you can rest. Feel your head supported by the earth. Allow your neck and your shoulders to sink in. Soften in the eyes. Allow your tongue to be free. Your jaw to be soft. Relaxing your back, your low back, let your hips be heavy. Relaxing all the effort in your legs. Let your feet roll out to the side. to be open, fingers resting. Allow the harmonious flow of the waters inside heal you, rejuvenate you. Please stay here as long as you need. Gratitude for your presence and your practice today. I will close the practice with one ohm. Sending you love and light.
Namaste. Namaste.